Hello everyone, uh, Jason here, or Awake Souls, and um, I sort of wanted to talk to you personally because I really need your help. I need the help of my subscribers, anybody that watches this video, because I am being censored, and I can show you that real quickly. Um, the part 5 video that I put out is really important information because the AE flat earth model where the sun and moon circle around over a, a map it doesn't matter which map it is it could be the Mercator or the Gleason's any map but the sun and moon circling around doesn't work and that that's what my part 5 video was about this is going to be a little bit of a follow-up because I've discovered something that even it's even more definitive proof and it's really important that we get this information out there because the AE flat earth model is a red herring so we were deceived into believing that we're on a ball and and then we were given that AE flat earth model and that's not correct either and I'm convinced that it was on purpose and that it's going to be used to discredit flat earthers the red herring because this proof is really really simple so it wouldn't take anything you know for the mass media to just put this proof out there and it would turn all the people that haven't considered flat earth yet off because because it, it proves that the flat earth model doesn't work so we need to figure out what that is I'm working on it I need your help but this video right here is really important please pay attention so since this part 5 popular flat earth model is this info video has been up I've been waiting for somebody to try to debunk it and uh, really nobody has but I, I finally got a comment where somebody suggested that um, the distance that we see to the horizon just isn't isn't far enough for us to see that the sun's not actually rising 90 degrees east and setting 270 degrees west. Well, my response to that is is that regardless of how far the sun is away, if it's 93 million miles or if it's 10 miles, if you're holding a compass, the angle that the sun comes up at is the angle that the sun comes up at regardless of what distance it is I mean, it's the angle that we're measuring but while I was considering this um, I decided to check and see what's happening in the southern hemisphere right now as far as the angle of the sunrise and sunset and this is awesome so the first place I checked is this Quito Ecuador because we're after the equinox, I wanted to see what the uh, sunrise and sunset angles were for, you know, a city that's at the equator, but now the sun is supposed to be south of the equator, right? So if you take a look here, the sun's rising at 98 degrees east and setting at 262 degrees west. So these are both south of east and west. Well, that doesn't work on the flat earth AE map at all, not with the sun circling. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And um, then I decided to see, well, what's it going to be at the most extreme point? You know, the winter solstice. So let's go to December 21st. And uh, here we are, the sun rising at 113 degrees and setting at 247 degrees. So then I went and checked for our most southerly city. Uh, the city in Argentina here, and at the uh, winter solstice, the sun is rising 135 degrees and setting 225 degrees. Now what's interesting here is um, even into January, these angles become more extreme. Something to figure out. And what about uh, Australia? Let's check out Sydney. So here we are, October 13th, and the sun is rising 100 degrees, setting 260 degrees. Now these, these are large populated areas where we might know somebody there. This is 
this is verifiable uh, information that you know the angle of the sunrise the angle of the sunset so here's the model that I used in the part 5 video and I had taken my research as far as the equinox you know the the sun rises 90 degrees east sets 270 degrees west everywhere on earth and then I had showed how you know a compass placed at uh, the Tropic of Cancer the equator the Tropic of Capricorn how if the sun and moon are moving in circular paths here that they're always going to rise north of east and set north of west no matter where you are anywhere on this map the sun's always going to you know rise north of true east and north of true west well now let's take a look at if we extend our research past the equinox towards the winter solstice and take a look at what's going on in the so-called southern hemisphere let's see what happens so I modeled up Quito and you can see here the sunrise of 113 degrees east 247 degrees west and solar noon it's at 66.8 degrees if you take a look here person standing in Quito holding the compass where north is pointing north like this on this map south here the sun is rising 113 degrees that is south of east considerably south of east 247 degrees is considerably south of west take a look at that this doesn't have anything to do with distance to the horizon. Um, when you're looking at a compass, that's where the sun's rising and that's where the sun's setting. Now let's take a look even farther south at that city in Argentina. Sun's rising 135 degrees southeast and setting 225 degrees southwest. And the solar noon is at 58.6 degrees. Person standing down there with a compass is going to see the sun rise here, come up to solar noon here, come back down for a sunset over here. Look at that. The sun and moon are traveling in circles. They're following these lines. They have a sunrise like this and a sunset like that. That doesn't work at all. Zilch. Nada. Now, of course, we need to um, verify with people that live in the so-called Southern Hemisphere, you know, people that live in Australia, where they see the sunrise. But uh, if, if it's anything like what time and date is showing, um, it's rising south of east and setting south of west. Now let's take a quick look here at what um, the winter solstice is going to be in Sydney. Yeah, 119 degrees and setting 241 degrees. So what am I asking you to do? Well, definitely share and repost the video. Um, but also go to all the Flat Earth channels that are promoting the, the AE equidistant sun and moon traveling in circles model. And uh, you know, make comments linked to this video and uh, make them debunk it before they continue to promote uh, that model. You know, until they debunk it, they've got to stop using that model. So I had a little extra time on my hands and I wanted to see what the new flat earth material was and I decided to do a search for flat earth. And what I do is I change the filter to um, sort by upload date. And I was scrolling through here and one of the things that I noticed is that this part 5 that I just uploaded that has 
flat earth in the title. So it's got flat earth. And I'm doing a search for flat earth uh, by upload date. So I speed up the scrolling through the search results here to save time. But I scroll out all the way for a full week and the video didn't show up at all, even though it had flat earth in the title. So here's a list of 10 things on how to know you're not on a ball, even though the sun, moon, and stars are patterned after us being on a ball. I'm not going to go into a description of each one of these things for the sake of time. These are all things that you can research on your own. Number one, there is no curvature. Number two, the horizon always rises to the eye of the observer. Number three, there is no parallax. Number four, you feel no motion. Number five, gyroscopes. Number six, everything NASA has done has been a hoax. Number seven, the moon is semi-transparent and the stars have been filmed within the circle of it. Number eight, water always seeks level. Number nine, crepuscular rays. And finally, last but most important, the Bible says Earth is fixed and immovable, motionless. So, my channel is not monetized, nor will it ever be. This isn't about view counts for me or the amount of subscribers that I have. It's about trying to reveal the truth. And I do make mistakes, and I've admitted it and made correction videos. But this right here is really, really solid stuff. The part five video by itself is all the evidence that you need to know that the, the AE flat earth model doesn't work. Now with the information that we've covered now, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous that we even fell for the AE Flat Earth model that we were presented. It's, um, the point is, we were deceived into thinking that we were on a ball. And let's not be deceived again. Let's, let's put an end to this AE Flat Earth model and look for what, what is real. I need your help. Spread this. Get it to everyone you can. Present it to Flat Earth channels. Get their responses. Make them respond to it. You know, debunk it. Prove it wrong. If they can't debunk it, then they need to stop using the model that they've been presenting.